Hello Fabulous DIYers, it's Deanna Tabwa here and in this episode I'm going to show you how to create this built-in bra cup lace bodice gown for $50 plus size edition. So if you're interested in seeing how to do this, let's begin. In the last episode I took you guys along with me to go and look for supplies in the garment district for $50. If you haven't seen that video, it's linked right up here. So I'm working with this beautiful royal blue Mercado fabric and it is 60 inches wide and I got three and a half yards of it. I'm also working with this beautiful embroidered uh, sequin lace and I got a yard of that. And this is foam. I'm going to be using this to create the bra cups. I'm not going to be needing a lot so I'm going to use a little bit of this fabrication. I'm going to be using this flat firm boning which is one inch wide and I got two yards of it. Next I have a invisible dress zipper, a pair of underwire to create my bra cups. I'm also going to be using this tape trim for underwire. Um, when it's time for installation I have about a half a yard of this. Lastly I'm going to be using this fusible which is medium weight and this is going to be uh, used for me to stiffen up the fabric when it's time. All the items in this video that is being used will be down in the description box. So this is the patterns that I'm going to be using to create the corset bra cup bodice and um, these I have made in my previous video uh, draping it and also fitting it um, you can watch those. I will link them in the video above here and in the description box for you to find them. Uh, so I made my corrections already and um, this is what the pattern I'm going to be using to do the bodice. Um, what I think I want to do here is add like maybe an inch or inch up to an inch and a half at the hem of each bottom portion of the pattern. So that way um, I can have a longer bodice for more coverage. So these are my new pattern pieces. As you can see, it's much bigger than the previous one. It has an inch at the top here and at the inch at the bottom for the extension of the length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be creating two bodices, an under base, which is the lining, and an upper base, which will be the top of the bodice. So I want to do it separate because I when, when it's time for me to connect it, it will be easier for me to connect than doing it all together at once. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, including my bra cup, which is going to be on foam. And uh, I'm going to put it all together with my fusible and everything like that. So I'm going to show you exactly the pieces cut out when I'm done. So here's my fabric. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out my pattern from away from the selvage. So it's going to go down this way because um, the width of this is 60 inches and I want to use, utilize the width. So I have to be very careful as to how I cut this fabric because I only have three and a half yards and it has to be all utilized with lining included. Now that I finished cutting everything, I'm going to go now and fuse all my fabric. So I'm going to iron this portion with the glue side onto the fabric. Now this side doesn't have a face or a front or a back. So I'm going to just choose one side and just iron it on. So I just finished fusing this and this is going to give it the fabric more body and make it more heavier and stiff. 
so that way it can give me some support so now I'm going to repeat the process for all other pieces so here are the pieces um, fully fused to the fabric so I'm gonna put that to the side and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut away some seam allowance from the bra cup so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this trim all of this half an inch seam allowance at the top of the bra cups patterns and then I'm going to put it together by um, zigzag stitching it so that way um, it doesn't have a seam allowance and it just nicely um, connects together. So I'm going to do that for here as well and here I'm going to trim away half an inch right here and also at the top of this as well. So I'm going to keep this on here so I know which is what when I cut I'm just leaving the half an inch right here underneath and on the side of the top part of the bra cup Alrighty, so this is the bra cups. They're all cut out now. I removed the seam allowance because it's going to create bulkage and we don't need the bulk. So we're going to connect these two like this with a zigzag stitch. And then once that's completed, it's going to be connected here with the top upper part of the cup with a zigzag stitch. So I'm taking it to the machine. I'm going to connect the top bottom part of the upper bra cup onto the bottom pieces. Okay, so here both cups are done. Um, I'm going to take this. I cut about two inches, but I'm going to go ahead and create some like, you know, um, taping to cover this on the inside. So that when you look into it, it looks nice. And also it will reinforce the zigzag stitch from not pulling apart on this foam because it will pull apart if it doesn't have something to secure it. So I'm going to go ahead and secure it with this by cutting like a strip and then um, stitch, top stitching it into place. So here's the taping that I created. And I'm going to put it right here. Like that. And I'm going to put this one right over here. Just to seal that. And make it nice. So here it is. This is nicely done. Both insides look nice and cleaned. So next I'm going to put the bodice together in the front. So I'm going to put everything together, sew it all up, and then come back to show you. Just finished sewing it and it looks like this so now I'm going to be placing the boning on the seam allowance here on every one which is this 
So this will give me the full coverage to cover this from here to here. I'm going to put masking tape at the edge so that way it doesn't rub against the fabric. And then I'm going to sew it down on the seams. So I'm going to do that for each and every seam of this. I picked up this tip by watching Tatiana Karolovitsky videos on how to uh, make corsets. She has wonderful videos on how to make corsets and how to finish them and all that. So I came across one of her videos and I absolutely love the tip that she gave about uh, placing masking tape at the end of these type of bones so you can go over there and check her videos out I will link the video down in the description now I'm going to stitch this down all the way around and this will create a tunnel if I want to put a boning in there to really give it structure All right, so this is the inside fully boned, as you can see here, all boned, and this is what it looks like as the lining. So now it's time to install the bra cups, and this is going to be installed this way. So I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pin it right here okay so here is the cup and what I'm going to do is as you can see I pinned it all the way around to the top edge of the bodice um, and then I'm going to sew a half an inch seam allowance around where I pinned it Okay, so here is the raw cup stitched, as you can see here, I stitched it into place. Now that I stitched that, I'm going to go ahead and put the taping right on top the seam allowance. So it's going to go right on top here, like this, and I'm going to stitch this down first, around the bra cup, on the stitch line, and then um, come back trim this down and then I'm going to go ahead and stitch the other side of the taping right onto the bodice. So I'm taking this, place it right on top of the seam allowance. The seam allowance is not being stitched on top of the bodice and I'm going to just stitch it down where I did the stitch line when I first sewn it. Okay, so now that I stitched down the taping for the underwire, all I have to do is trim this down just a bit past the taping so that way I can fold this back and top stitch this right down onto the bodice. And then you just fold it down just like this, making sure that this is nice and neat and even it's not catching anything. And then just stitch right here at the edge just to seal that and secure it in place.
And this is the bodice. This is the inside I would be facing the body and touching the body. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. And it's nicely stitched. And this will um, be where the upper fabric will cover. Now with the underwire, I'm going to place it in the tubing of the tape like this feed it right through and then voila the first bra cup is installed so now I'm going to go ahead and install the other one and come back to show you both pieces installed so here is the bodice. I just finished installing the bra cup. So both bra cups are in. This is what the bodice looks like. And this is the lining. And this is what it looks like on the outside edge of it. So now I'm going to get ready to do the outside um, base and put everything together just like I did. But without the foam, I will not be doing the foam. I'm just going to be doing it um, in the self fabric with the lace. Okay, so here I cut out the lace. So what I'm going to do is just pin the lace to this to make sure it doesn't move. And what I'm going to do is apply the lace onto all other patterns, including the bra cups, and then um, put it all together. So I will show you that in a moment. So now that I have the bodice put together, everything's looking good and sparkly. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing like I did for the under bodice, the lining bodice. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch this right in here. So I'm going to pin it in here and stitch it all the way around a half an inch. Okay, so here is the bodice. I fully installed them. Looks good so far. So now it's time for me to work on to the skirt. Here I am with my mother. She's gonna basically try on the bodice with clothes on. She has um, a bra on as well. So it is fitting her exactly what it is, but um, I'm gonna make, I made the adjustments to fit it a little bit smaller. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to be draping the skirt right onto her. So on the top edge, I'm gonna fold it in two inches like this and I want to have like a drapey yeah can you hold it that would be, that'd be awesome so I'm gonna have it like a, a slit you, you want to slit right you want to slit you can speak mother you can <laughs> my mother was being very shy anywho if you watch my draping tutorials you know how I drape and um, it's basically going to be the same way as I draped here on her body she likes a-line skirts for her body so i decided to go ahead and create a a-line shape um design on her uh this is basically i'm just draping it as i always drape it onto my um dress form but this time i'm using a body and this will be actually um going to fit her because i'm actually draping her without going through the process of putting on paper and then making adjustments so i'm just going to build it right onto her so it can save me a little bit of more time which in the end it still was a lot of work um but all i'm doing is basically shaping it and she can get to see right away exactly how she, um, it looks and um, she can say whether she likes it this way or that way and what else we can improve and not improve so all I was doing was basically um, pleating it and adjusting the pleats as I want. Um, we were trying to decide if I wanted to or we wanted to to have like a ruffle detail in the front. But depending, since I don't have enough fabric, I don't think I could have pulled that off um, with the ruffle. Uh, because I wanted it to be a more full um, voluptuous ruffle. And with the amount of fabric that I was working with, I don't think I could have pulled it off. So we end up... Um, uh, not doing that but she did request for a slit and um, so I wanted to make it more asymmetrical so um, here you just see me pleading it onto her uh, if anyone is trying to do this on a person yourself 
you want to be very careful not to pin the person because you know that can be very dangerous and you know people some people are looking for you know situations these days so um all i'm doing as always i'm marking the places that i've made uh where i placed the muslin to um fit and i'm just gonna go ahead and mark it and then trim away whatever we don't want and start shaping it to the desire uh, fit that she liked Yeah, so we're gonna just, I'm gonna make this more straighter, but extend it a little bit over so that way she has enough room for the coverage and same as here as well. And then I'm gonna extend the bottom to make it more longer. The back is going to be a V back sewn this way and it's gonna be connected down here. Hopefully I have enough fabric because it has an extra train in the bottom and it's gonna be connected to the bodice as well. So. This is it for now. We're gonna transfer it onto fabric. All right, and let me show the side. This is the side of the dress. And as you can see, this gapping right there. So I'm just gonna adjust that. need a half an inch here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pleat this into place press it down with the muslin on it and then remove it and then completely press it on its own Alright, so this is the front of the skirt, fully pressed. So this is the back. I'm going to cut it out and then lay it out on fabric to cut it out twice. So the back is fully cut out. I'm going to take one piece of this and connect it at the side seam. Since this doesn't have lining um, and I'm not going to line it because I don't have enough fabric, I'm just going to do a French seam as always, my iconic go-to finisher. And if you don't know how to do a French seam, all you have to do is pin your seam allowance edge to edge with the seam allowance showing not on the inside. You're basically going to pin it on the outside of your garment. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, then sew it down a quarter of an inch, and then trim away one eighth of an inch, and then turn it inside out, and then we're going to create a casing for that raw edge of the seam allowance, and sew it one quarter of an inch. So here is the side and as you can see it's cleaned on the outside and also on the inside. 
So I'm going to repeat the same process for the other side seam. Okay, so here is the original drape bodice. As you can see, this is where I need to place the skirt. So what I'm going to do is place the skirt right onto the markings. It's just slipping. So this has to go like this, right onto the side seam and downwards like here. And then for the back, this will go right here. But I have to also fold this inwards like that and sew it onto the bodice like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this right onto the actual um, bodice. So this is raw edged right here. So I'm going to fold that in. Okay, so let me flip that over. I stitched it inside onto the bodice and then when you flip it this is it this is one side done how I want to finish this because um, this got to go somewhere so I'm thinking I should just cut and then add a facing right here just to um, clean it up so I'm gonna put this right over here stitch it and then that will be flipped inside like this and that will clean this edge. So here's the piece, press it, then I'm gonna stitch it right here onto the bodice. Here at the front, I just stitch it all the way over here. Um, later on, I will hand stitch it down so that way I know what position it is on the body. And this is what it looks like on the wrong side. So as you can see, you know, here's where the skirt is stitched onto the body. So now it's time to basically install the zipper towards the back. And here, since this is a detail now. Okay, so this is the extra ex extension that I added to the center back of the skirt. Because when I tilted it down on an angle, it didn't reach the center back because the bodice is much longer. So um, I just added this um, extension on both sides of the skirts. And it was going to be a design detail. I decided to do a overlock stitching instead of turning it back because it, it got too small so I figured you know what let me just do an overlock cover stitch to bind the edge and this is what it looked like once it's done and um, I'm going to now I should have done this before but I'm going to go ahead and clean the edge of the hem of the bodice as well as the lining bodice I have a strip of fabric left so i'm going to cut out maybe an inch two inches of the strip and then just just bind this edge so here is the gown the edge is all bind and i also clean the edge of the lining the under base as well so this is bind Everything is perfect lined up really good the bottom edge of this is open I'm going to do is just um, stitch 
from here all the way down a half an inch seam allowance so right here in this point where the zipper ends I'm going to sew all the way down the hem I mean the center back So now I'm going to install the lining now. So all I'm going to do is place this and stitch the top together. Once that's done, flip it inside. And since this is going to be open, I'm going to connect the side and stitch along the zipper to close that edge up. All right, so here's the inside of the bodice. So we're gonna flip that, turn it inside out, and push everything towards the front of the bodice. one eighth of an inch stitch right along here so here's the one eighth of an inch stitch and all I'm going to do now is connect the back portion of the center back lining to here like this whoops make sure Put this whole entire thing all over to the right side and then I'm going to be pressing. So now I'm just going to adjust the hemline. As you can see, oops. As you can see, it's a little bit square and I want it to be more round. Um, the back is extra long, so I'm going to just go from the back and bring it just up just a little bit. So here is the final garment and it is ready to wear. So this is my mother wearing the gown and she absolutely loved it. There was a few uh, minor um, adjustments that I could do to it to just um, fix certain areas. And then that's it, the garment is fully done and complete and she loves it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know down in the comments your thoughts and stay tuned because we're going to be doing the last grand finale of a hundred dollar budget gown and this will wrap up the budget gown series so stay tuned for that don't forget to comment like and subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys